In this video, we're going to learn about the scale and size options in Mixbus 32C version 9. When you first open up Mixbus, you're going to notice that there's a certain size and scale to the look depending on the size of your resolution of your monitor and the settings that you can find in Mixbus preferences. What you're seeing in this video is a 2K monitor with a 1440 pixel height. And also if we look at our preferences, we can see our mixer strip scale is set to 100% default. Now we have many other options to choose from. I first want to show you what this 100% looks like. So I'm going to right click. I'm going to add about 24 audio tracks. And if I press Shift B, that will allow me to hide my mix buses. The mixer list is showing on the left side of the screen, but I can hide that by hitting Shift L. That will allow me to see as many tracks as I can at once. And you can see with this size and scale, I can see just about 24 channels, but I may have to scroll over just a little bit. But I think it's actually pretty good. So with this 2K monitor, it's about two feet away from my eyes. And I can see everything pretty comfortably at this distance. But notice I can only see two elements at a time, even though we technically have five elements to choose from down here in the mixer strip. So from top to bottom, we have input, gate, comp, 32C EQ, and the sends. If I try to choose a compressor, as well as showing the sends and EQ, it's not gonna allow me to do that because my pixel height of 1440 only allows for two elements to be shown at one time. Also, if I choose my gate, it's gonna switch out the compressor. If I take out the sends and now choose my EQ, I can see the EQ on the bottom, and now my gate on top, but it still only allows me to see two different elements. Now the input section doesn't really count toward what I can see down here, so you can always have that be visible if you need it to. So for this example, I am working on my Mac, but a similar setup can be applied to a Windows machine. But let me go to my Mac system settings, and I'm gonna click on displays. But we can see that my BenQ is set to the default 1440. I really don't have any option to go smaller than that. Now this computer is running off of a 13 inch MacBook Pro and it's also set to its default, which is 900 pixels in height. I could make it more space of 1050, but it's still not anywhere in the range of 1440. So if you're working on a very small laptop, then just understand that the resolution is going to determine your overall look. Okay, going back to Mixbus preferences. Let's start messing around with the mixer strip scale. So if I actually wanted to see more than two elements at one time in the strip, I would have to make this a little bit smaller. Let's go all the way down to 80%. Now we can clearly see all 24 tracks at one time, but all the elements are a lot smaller than they used to be. And depending on how far away you are from the monitor, and how well your eyesight is, this may be comfortable for you or it just might be unusable. But in this view, I can select the sends, show the EQ, and show the gate or the compressor. And if you are on a 4K monitor, for instance, you could easily see all four elements at one time, including the input section across the top. But on a 2K monitor, it's just not possible. So now let's go back to our preferences and see what scale setting we can have so we, are, we can still see three elements. So there's 85, and you can see everything got a little bit bigger. And here's 90. And to me, this is still very, very comfortable. But if we start going to 95, you can see that the third element went away. So going back down to 90, I can bring back in my compressor. And that works pretty good. Now if I show my mix buses, you can see I have the sends, EQ, and compressor on the channel strips, but also have the EQ, drive, and the compressor across all the mix buses, and also on the master bus. So this might be a good option for you if you have the screen height and the distance to where you can see everything clearly. But one more time, going back to preferences, if we set it back to 100%, we only get two elements. And for most people, this would be perfectly fine. Now let's go the opposite direction. Let's make it larger. Let's go to 105%. 
and everything grew just a little bit bigger. And let me show the compressor so we can see what's happening on the channel strips and the mix buses. Now we're going to 110%. It's a little bit bigger. And on my 2K monitor, I can definitely see things a little bit clearer. 120%. And we're getting even bigger still. But I want you to notice that the amount of mix buses we can see at one time has gone down to nine instead of 12. I can still pull that out. You see all 12 mix buses. And I can still hide them to show more of my channel strips. And at this point, I can see just about 20 channels at one time. I can scroll over to see all 24. I'll scroll back to see the beginning. But going back to our preferences, we can see what 130% looks like. But now notice our two elements have went away and it's dropped down to one. And now going up to 140%. Now this is the largest setting you can have for the scale, but we can only see one element at a time. So now going down, I can click on EQ. So it's gonna take away the sands and only show the EQ. Now when I click on the compressor, the EQ is hidden and now the compressor is shown and the same for the gate. So at this point, you're really just swapping out the different elements. Now, if you prefer to work that way, then this might be a good option for you. Because I can imagine somebody recording or even importing in some tracks. And the first thing you're gonna do is start getting a good static mix and maybe start sending your tracks over to the individual buses. So once you're done with your sins, you can probably hide those and then start working on your EQ or compression, whichever you prefer in your workflow. And then once you're done with your EQ, you can go to compression. Maybe you realize you're working on your drums and you need to see the gate. So even though you can see more elements at once, you may not need to, depending on the size of your screen and how far away you are sitting. 